wood penetration test short barrel what i have here today is seven different rounds i'm going to test and this is three quarter inch pine board we have 10 of them so a total of seven and a half inches of solid pine we gonna see what kind of wood penetration we get with multi-caliber and short barrels we got a couple of varieties of 357 magnum we have nine millimeter plus p and nine millimeter standard pressure 380 acp 38 special and 327 federal magnum i'm really curious what that's going to get but these are all gold dot bullets in this gold dot ammunition so it's going to be pretty interesting I have a variety of short barreled handguns here should be an interesting test to see how far each caliber and short barrels penetrate so let's get started with the test all right first up is the gold dot 380 acp we'll see what it does Next up, we have the 38 Special, 125 grain. Next up, we have the 9mm Standard Pressure, 124 grain. Next up, we have the 9mm Plus P, 124 grain. Next up, we have the 357 Magnum 135 grain short barrel. Next up, we have the 327 Federal Magnum 100 grain. And last, the most powerful, we have the 125 grain full house Magnum gold dot. All right, let's open that piece of wood and take a look, see what we got. All right, before I open this, I did want to show that this last board had a hole in it. That was already there. Um, but next to that hole here, we actually have a bulge that's lined up uh, between the nine millimeter plus P and the 357 Magnum short barrel. It actually looks like it's more lined up with the nine millimeter plus P where it's actually cracking out the back of 10 boards. That's very interesting. So I'm gonna flip this over and we'll start taking this thing apart and see what we got all right here you are at the first board you have the 380 38 special 9 millimeter 9 plus p 357 short barrel 327 and 357 full house load all right as i would expect everything's going to go through it here so I'll leave this board for reference here's number two and we all went through, obviously. Out the back of all of them. Here's board three. Got the 380 38 special. You got the 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter plus P. 357 short build, 327, 357 mag. All right. Going between three and four, it's a little bit sticky here. And here we are. Back of board three, we caught the 380 ACP. Here we go. So the 380 penetrated the least. The standard pressure uh, 38 special went further. Interesting. And the rest went through. All right, here we are on board four. Still have a mark from the 380 and it looks like the rest of them are all here. And other than the 380, they all went through. <laughs> all right, top of board five. Nothing from the 380. Still got the 38 special. We still got the 9 millimeter 9 plus P. And we're seeing fragments from the short barrel 357 Magnum. And I can actually see the 327 board five, too. And we are stuck between five and six. All right, so what do we have here? It looks like obviously nothing from the 380. We did stop 38 special. It all, it's bulging out the back of board five, so it's actually pretty impressive for the 38. Bulging out the back of five. And then on six, we have the standard pressure nine millimeter. And next to that's going to be the 9mm plus P. So the plus P of the 9mm 
did penetrate further. And then with the 357 short barrel, we had caught that in the back of the fifth here. And we actually caught the 327 as well. You can see right here, the 327 is in there. So 357 short barrel, 327 penetrated the same. And nine millimeter standard pressure a little bit more. I wouldn't have expected that. I would have thought the 327 would have went further with its high energy and its uh, small diameter. So here we are with the sixth board here. Nine millimeter standard pressure. Um, here is the plus P nine millimeter hole. And then we don't have these two, except they left dense. So the only thing that appears to be going through further is gonna be the nine millimeter plus P and the full house 357 and we're stuck here. And here is the back of six. And here is that full house 357 Magnum. We went right through that. So we caught the 357 Magnum full house with that uh, deep curl hollow point there in the back of six. And we also damaged with the back of six with the 327. So the only thing that keeps going here is the nine millimeter plus P. Now we have significant damage right here with the 357 Magnum. Significant damage. We have significant damage with the 327 as well. All right, board eight, we're still going here. And that's what I was thinking when I saw the back of it. It looked like the uh, there was a crack in the back of 10. Nine millimeter plus P. We still have damage from the 327. So the 327 is causing damage on board eight. And, and the 327 also punched through a hole through the back of board eight, even though we stopped it. Board nine, there is an impact there. And I was wrong about that 327. I thought I saw bullet fragments earlier. No, the 327 is in nine. I just didn't see it. It looked like it, it looked like it had stopped earlier, but no, it's in nine. So indeed the 327 did penetrate further than most of these, and we're stuck here. And here we are. Um, back of nine there's nothing from the 327 door 10 nine millimeter plus p that's very interesting so <laughs> that is pretty impressive that we went through seven and a half inches almost uh, about seven inches of solid pine with that plus p it's just overwhelming penetration that's so it is true what they say about the, the 9 millimeter being a really good penetrator. It really is for some weird reason, even though it has less energy than others. I think it's just that sweet spot where we have enough energy to penetrate, but just slightly less than what it would take to destroy the bullet. So it really is that sweet spot. So that's what you get today with the wood penetration test. Interesting results to say the least. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.